Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Dr. Theron Sherman. Today's briefing doesn't contain any objectionable material, so let's begin. Item number, SCP-6442. Classification level five, top secret. Containment class, Thaumiel. Disruption class, Vlam. Risk class, critical. Special containment procedures. Due to the anomaly's role in preventative containment efforts and maintaining Foundation secrecy, the protection of SCP-6442 is to be ensured via any means necessary. Access to containment facility is granted solely by the SCP Foundation's Counterintelligence Agency. In efforts to conceal the geographical location of the facility, personnel assigned to the site are to not have access to geopositioning tools, and Class B amnestics are to be administered upon arrival. Personnel on site are neither expected nor encouraged to familiarize themselves with the layout of the facility due to the possibility of compromising containment, save for designated emergency zones, and to perform necessary maintenance of the site. Any unauthorized attempt to exit or gain access to the facility will be met with immediate detainment, and the offender will be subsequently amnesticized, demoted, and or terminated. Containment facility exterior is guarded by a collection of Foundation-made automatons specializing in covert anti-infiltration tactics. In line with general concealment protocols, the automatons are designed to covertly terminate infiltrators, silently destroy hostile aircraft, and conduct thaumaturgic counterspells against anomalous weaponry. SCP-6442 itself is located within one of 16 identical spherical containment chambers, located at least 15 meters apart and connected through maze-like narrow structures designed to obfuscate navigation. Each chamber is entirely featureless and has a single entrance, possessing no distinguishing marks that could differentiate it from other chambers. The exact location of SCP-6442 is not to be known by any personnel in the Foundation. The interior of each containment chamber houses a sphere of tungsten alloy containing either SCP-6442 or a near-identical but non-anomalous replica inside. Each sphere is suspended in the center of the corresponding containment chamber to ensure access requires significant coordination and effort to achieve. Furthermore, the interior of the containment facility is to contain multiple layers of protection against individuals attempting to neutralize and or retrieve SCP-6442 via force. Current measures taken include, but are not limited to, anti-nuclear and eigenweapon defense protocols, aerosolized class 1 amnestics throughout each chamber, six grant and reality anchors per chamber to prevent ontological attacks from harming SCP-6442, a Zyank Anastasakos constant temporal sink per chamber to prevent temporal manipulation. 36 experimental Randall Yesarian Akiva nullifiers per chamber to prevent and discourage divine intervention. One set of Mobile Task Force Tau-5, codenamed Samsara, construction tanks per chamber in the event the above procedures are insufficient or on-site security is overwhelmed by hostile forces. In the unlikely event that extraction of SCP-6442 is necessary for an unforeseeable reason, all decoys are to be extracted from the facility alongside SCP-6442. Once a solution is provided to the problem, SCP-6442 is to be returned to one of the 16 chambers at random. Should the United Nations Global Cult Coalition be successful in retrieving SCP-6442, all attempts are to be made to neutralize the object, to prevent the organization from developing hypothetical inoculation. Footnote: Mimetic inoculation against SCP-6442 would place the SCP Foundation at a severe disadvantage in terms of espionage and covert warfare. As all of SCP-6442's training data and construction materials have been incinerated to prevent reverse engineering, the protection of the object is considered a high priority. Due to tensions within the wider anomalous community, and de-escalation meetings performing poorly, the above special containment procedures are to be continued indefinitely. The procedures must be reapproved or updated at least once per three months by the Counterintelligence Agency, as per order of the O5 Council. This document has been altered to exclude an undetermined portion of the full containment procedures for security concerns. Description SCP-6442 refers to an inscription created by the SCP Foundation Counterintelligence Agency and Mimetics Division. SCP-6442 is engraved within a sphere constructed with a classified carbon fiber based elastomer. Upon perceiving at least 73% of the inscription, exposed subjects experience a complete cessation of all neurological functions instantaneously. This effect occurs in any sentient being, including non-organic life forms. To date, it is the most potent cognitohazard produced by the organization. It is estimated it will require a cognitive resistance value of 742 or higher to survive. Footnote. Note. 
the CRV scale is logarithmic. As a result, inoculation is considered unfeasible, or potentially impossible. Since its creation and containment in 2023, SCP-6442 has successfully neutralized at least 8,000 omniscient entities, at least 2,000 of which were employed by the Global Occult Coalition. Alright staff, that ends our broadcast. Use your Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com site42. Secure. Contain. Protect.